Analysis conducted by the University of Michigan compared the environmental impact of the Beyond Meat Burger to a quarter pounder beef burger and found that the Beyond Burger used 99% less water, 93% less land and 43% less energy while emitting 90% fewer greenhouse gases than its animal-derived counterpart. Similarly, Impossible Foods shared that its plant-based Impossible Burger uses 96% less land, 87% less water and emits 89% less greenhouse gases than conventional beef from cows. However, from a health standpoint, there have been some concerns with the high sodium and saturated fat content of some of these plant-based burgers. So what does leading dietitian Brenda Davis and medical doctor Dr Milton Mills think about these burgers? Should we be avoiding them? Well, let's find out. Vegan burgers, I mean, they're, they're definitely not health foods, but I celebrate them simply because if people don't eat the animal-based burgers and eat the plant-based burgers, animal suffering declines, we get environmental benefits, but also you're not eating the animal protein. A lot of the agrochemicals associated with it, the carnitine that gets converted to TMAO, not as many endotoxins, not as many environmental contaminants, all the POPs, you know, no new 5GC that you find in red meat. None of the nitrosamines, the cholesterol, certainly saturated fat may be similar, but the cholesterol is not there. So there are a lot of actual advantages to the plant-based burger over the animal-based burger. And I think we need to recognize that. Stanford recently did a head-to-head -head comparison of the plant-based burgers versus meat and across the board. Plant-based burgers help people get better blood lipid profiles, uh, help them lose weight. They were healthier. Not a whole plant food. Be judicious, but they're better than right. dead flesh. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.